Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, we're going to talk about the new Universal Kids Park coming to Texas. Frisco, Texas to be exact, just north of Dallas. So let's get right into it. Today, Universal unveiled more information at a press conference in Frisco, Texas about the name of the park, a new concept art, and there's some, been some drastic changes, including uh, some budget increases and a up, up zoning or sorry enlarging of the park so we're going to talk about that and compare and contrast the concept art but let's talk about the name first universal kids resort so this name was trademarked by universal this morning and the official name is the universal kids resort which kind of coincides with their no kids television channel they got going on they have a kids kids section no one really knows about it but universalkids.com is a thing and it shows all the children's programming for um, the park but yeah so it came with some brand new concept art as you can see and yeah there's a lot of um, rumored rumored uh, IP lands and let's compare it to the old concept art really quickly <laughs> so as you can see with this top to bottom picture here yeah there has changed been significant changes um, what looked like a uh, resemblance of the DreamWorks logo has been eliminated and the hotel itself has been pared down a little bit um, seems a little, eh, took away the architectural elements, which is disappointing, but the rest of the park seems to have gotten an upgrade to the budget, seems to have, sh seems to have shifted from the hotel elements to a lot of other good stuff. Some of the lands have shifted around, like Trolls has moved to the other side, same with uh, Jurassic World, or Camp, Camp Crustaceous, and Sh Puss in Boots, and Shrek. And the addition of Spongebob has been added, a very large Spongebob area, and Looks like Minions was always going to be in the middle, which is super cool. So let's kind of go ahead and break down the new concept art from today and see what's coming to this park. So the one for Alicia Stella at Theme Park Stop made a map similar to this one of the rumored IPs coming to the park. I decided to make my own and make it a little more colorful for you guys. So here are the rumored lands and IPs coming to the Universal Kids Resort. Minions, which would be in the center. SpongeBob, which would be over to the right-hand side with a version of the Krusty Krab. And then Shrek and Pushin' Boots together in the upper right left corner. Jurassic World Camp Crustaceous in the upper right corner. Trolls in the left. And Gabby's Dollhouse. A little section between the park entrance and Trolls. Gabby's Dollhouse is very popular for that age demographic. And I believe it's on Netflix and potentially Peacock as well. So, and they even had a meet and greet. I think in one of the Orlando parks for a uh, time. So it is a pretty popular franchise. I know I got some questions online saying, why is Gabby's Dollhouse in there? Yeah, well, that's almost like a uh, universal version of Bluey, but it's certainly not nearly as popular as Bluey. Let's go land by land and see what we can spot. Let's first start off. Um, let's go on a, a counterclockwise section. Let's start off with SpongeBob first. That was my most anticipated land because I love SpongeBob going up as a child. So I, if I visit this park, I'll be certainly doing it for that. But of course, I'll be taking my children, my eventual children in the future to this park. And yeah, SpongeBob is obviously a very popular IP. And so one of the best selling merchandises, uh, toys of all time. And one of the most watched shows, anime shows of all time. So, of course, it's going to get one of the larger lands in this park. And it looks like this park was increased in size just so SpongeBob can get in there. So, that's pretty nice. So let's go ahead and break down what could be in our SpongeBob area right now. So, immediately, we can see the land's main eatery will, of course, be the Krusty Krab. I mean, how could it not, right? And how can this be, like, the first time you can really dine into a real-life Krusty Krab, a permanent, a permanent fixture in a theme park? Which would be super cool and hope if the SpongeBob land is successful, it comes out for to the main theme parks like at Universal Orlando Resort or Hollywood. Because, yeah, I, that's has enough of an audience for not just kids, but for the whole a mainstream audience, which would be quite nice. So, it would be super cool to dine in Krusty Krab me some Krabby Patties, of course, and of course, some salads. I, you know, if you remember from Pearl, was trying to make salads when she took over the Krusty Krab. Looks like there's a couple of dueling flat rides. Um, looks like almost some of like the double dumbos, double spinners there, which is good to have two of them because it will increase capacity for that slowly slow loading attraction. But looks like lots of play areas and even a building or two, show building or two. I'm not sure if that'll be a dark ride or just maybe a restaurant or retail shop. I'm sure SpongeBob, you know, a lot of retail merchandise in there, so maybe some gift shops. And but it also looks like a play area with maybe was it the Flying Dutchman over to the upper um, right side. 
But also the proposed Minions Raft, rumored Minions Raft ride. It looks like it's gonna go over there in that beach area. I can only guess is Goo Lagoon. Just to the north of SpongeBob is or Bikini Bottom is the Jurassic World Camp Crustaceous uh, area, and that is a fantastic show on Netflix. If you haven't checked it, out. if you like Jurassic World, like dinosaurs. It's animated, but yeah, it's a fantastic show on Netflix. It, it got four seasons, and it's even having a spinoff show or, or a sequel series coming next year, which is super cool. I'm very excited for that. Um, so definitely watch that on Netflix. This land is should be pretty awesome as well. I don't see... Well, it looks like maybe some play areas and some retail and some restaurants. Now, there's a roller coaster just to the south of that in the grassy p grassy area. I'm not sure if that's for Minions or for Jurassic World. Um, it would be much cooler if it were the roller coasters for Jurassic World. So maybe there'll be some raptor themed roller coaster there. It looks like it's just a junior coaster, just to become probably uh, become a junior coaster. But yeah, so potentially maybe um a roller coaster for Jurassic World or for the Minions. I'm gonna hope it's for Jurassic World. And yeah, that should be that kind of wraps up the world. I like I like how it goes though in the woods that roller coaster should be really uh very uh, immersive. Moving on over to the left to the Puss and Boots slash Shrek area. <laughs> Looks like obviously half of it will be Puss and Boots, half of it will be Shrek. The close side close to Jurassic World will probably be Puss and Boots because seems like a lot of Spanish style architecture there from his movies. And then the left side seems a bit more swampy. Do I don't see Shrek's house though, um unfortunately. Shrek's house was in the prior concept art, but it looks like maybe potentially Shrek Dark Ride as well. But those plans seem to at least not be there in this concept art. Maybe they'll get, maybe the we'll get at least this house as a meet and greet, um, because that's really cool. At least we're getting it in Florida, but yeah, the Shrek Swamp House is, uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, uh, iconic arch architectural element. So I hope they can work that way in there, in the where somewhere. Not sure of the rides, but it does look there's some kind of dark ride or car ride where you're, um, uh, riding in the carriages, or the, you know, those carriages that Shrek, Fiona, and Donkey rode in from his house to far, far away in Shrek 2. So that looks like some kind of some kind of outdoor ride, cute ride for the kids. And again, it goes by that lagoon where the Minions Raft ride is going to be. But I don't see any rides here upon initial inspection. Could be, uh, the buildings could be a show, bu show bu building for something, or um, a restaurant, or maybe like something for the kids, like maybe like a Jedi, something like the Jedi Training Academy, but like maybe like a fighting academy or something. Something, I'm sure there's kids' activities in play areas and rest areas, as well as, of course, plenty of themed meet and greets with Shrek and Fiona and the Puss and Boots characters all over this land. But I'm not seeing at least any outdoor rides, but there could be some stuff inside the buildings. Scooting on down to the Trolls area, and yeah, you can see uh, lots of very colorful pathways and the oversized plants and flowers, but also a roller coaster. Again, I'd be remiss if this coaster wasn't called the Troller Coaster, like the one coming to um, Universal Studios Florida. I mean, they might as well, right? I mean, there's a roller coaster. It's green, just like the uh, one at Universal Studios Florida uh, being painted right now is being green. So I'm sure this is going to be called, there's literally an exact replica of the Troller Coaster. But I'm sure there'll be plenty of meet and greets and maybe another flat ride or two and some restaurants, and maybe a small dark ride in the, some of those show buildings off on the corner. Gabby's dollhouse is just a tiny section in between Trolls and the park main entrance. I assume that'll just be a meet and greet or uh, maybe a walkthrough attraction of like her dollhouse and probably a meet and greet um, at the end, almost like kind of like Mickey's house at uh, Disney parks. Um, again, all my speculation, all of this is all my speculation. I have no idea um, what type of rides and attractions are going to be there. I'm just looking at the concept art, but and uh, I'm guessing since it's such a small area, that's probably what it is. And that, hey, that's pretty good to me. I'm sure that kids will love it, especially the fans of that show. But you can for sure bet there'll be a meet and greet of Gabby no matter what happens in her dollhouse. Right. Then we get to the park entrance and the hotel. The hotel has been shaved down quite a bit, at least from, uh, it might be the same like number of stories and rooms and everything, but the architectural elements, elements are shaved down. So now it just looks like a, a flat box. In fact, because the picture is zoomed out so much, you almost barely even notice that it's there. Almost looks like it's another show, but in front attraction. So hopefully the hotel is uh, you know, at least pretty decent. Again, um, if the budget had to go somewhere, I'm glad it went from the hotel to the park because, you know, more rides and more thematic areas. But hopefully the hotel looks better than just the box. 
um, we'll see what it looks like Naples inside and of course the facade details on there the minions areas to the island though like oh, maybe it'll call, be called minions island because it's on an island and looks like to have the park's largest ride and that is a little raft ride first what well, was a boat ride in the previous concept art now it's a raft ride and I'm sure there'll be interactive elements um because again it's dallas so it gets hot in dallas or frisco texas so i'm sure there'll be you know elements in the um especially on the pedestrian bridge there's a couple of bridges i'm sure you know if you're a guest you'll get to put in a quarter and spray people like you can do on the ripsaw falls or oops the um the raft ride at islands of adventure you can do that now and you can do that at many raft rides around the theme parks around the country so i'm sure you'll be able to do that here um not sure if the minions are getting another ride i'm sure they'll get lots of meet and greets i'm sure some play areas on that island almost like a tom sawyer's island type of ordeal looks like at least from initial uh viewing looks like just one major ride and it's a pretty big one so that's good so what do you guys think of the new renderings of the universal kids resort the name universal kids resort there's been a lot of discourse on twitter about the name i think it's pretty direct it tells you exactly what's going on again i did name so i did do some alternate names though like you know, universal's anim uh, animation adventure and then someone uh, comes in Universal's Animation Adventure for Juniors. Um, so, again, stick that kid name there, Junior name, so it knows for younger children, like a Legoland type park. But they went with Universal Kids Resort, which can be kind of boring, but at least it's directly to the least. It tells you what it is. It's, it's a kids resort. So don't go flying to Texas uh, for uh, something like Universal Orlando. It's just for children. And it'll be only 32 acres. So what is your favorite or most anticipated land? Um... On this park where you take your kids to the park if you want to win a theme park wizard pin you can go ahead and comment down below what is your favorite ride from the park or, or what rides do you think or favorite ip from the park comment on there the best answer will get a free theme park wizard pin if you liked this video press that thumbs up button subscribe for more theme park updates and check out our patreon for some cool exclusive um, permanent information trademark information and rumors patreon.com slash club 722 Otherwise, guys, have a very universal day.